friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis this is a totally unedited real time surgery the patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient has strong bells phenomenon always looking up towards the forehead with repeated instructions i could do the surgery this is fenocaine after placing the main incision and now here goes visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling up the anterior chamber visco is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and only one side port has been made in this case now capsular axis is being done with the help of a uh, utrita forceps when we do rexis with utrita forceps the anterior leaf of the main wound is kept lifted up a capsular tag is raised this capsular tag is guided anti clockwise all around to do a rexis of adequate size and now Hydro dissection is done with the help of uh, 27 Gauss cannula and BSS. In this case, the nuclear rotation was not satisfactory. But when we use pre chop, nuclear rotation is not that much important. In this case, I am using a pre-chopper invented by Dr. Sohel and this is the first pre-chop dividing the nucleus into two heminuclei and then on heminucleus is divided into two pieces. Then I come out. And now is the time to introduce the phaco needle and remove the pieces. The phaco needle goes in with its bevel down. This is Oatly Catrix 3 FECO machine. Some superficial lens matter is removed and then the free nuclear fragment is picked up and emulsified. And this heminucleus is easily chopped and emulsified. And the other small free piece comes to the tip and it is emulsified. The nuclear sheet also easily comes to the tip, aspirating tip, aspirating port of the phaco needle and it is easily removed. In this case, I tried to remove a part of the cortex by the phaco needle itself. Vacuum was 250 and flow rate 25. After removing a portion of the cortex, I came out I wanted to use a safer instrument for this. The safer instrument is a Simco cannula. This is a 23 gauze Simco. With the help of this instrument, I am removing the rest of the cortex. And now I go through the, this is a small piece of cortex sticking to the posterior capsule. Now I go through the side port and remove the cortex which is sub main incisional. So cortical clean up has been done nicely. Whatever instrument we use, we must do a meticulous cleaning of the cortex. Now, posterior capsule is clean and time for implantation of an intraocular lens. The main incision is enlarged a bit because I am using a white bore cartridge. 
And this is called hydro implantation where you keep the antechamber formed by irrigating cannula and inject the IOL in the bag. Just by push of the irrigating cannula, the trailing haptic goes into the bag. The lens is dialed. You can see that the optic is overlapped all around by the rexis. So, this is an optimum size rexis of about 5.25 millimeter. The side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma with BSS. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it does not require any hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with BSS and then the after this the antechamber is nicely formed and I come out. Integrity of all the wounds are checked by cotton tipped Janssen bard, few drops of moxie is applied over the cornea and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Whenever the cataract is soft like grade 2 nuclear sclerosis, pre-chopper is a nice instrument to help us. In such cases, you may not be able to hold the nucleus with vacuum, so pre-chopper does a nice job. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.